first thing I want to clean is this oven. Uh, I guess inside and out. The, the inside is much worse. <laughs> yeah, look at all that. Yeah, yeah, it's worse than it looks actually. Is uh, I was using it uh, not too long ago. I was like baking some uh, cheese tops. Forget what they call it. I was using this to cook them and I, you know, space out along these uh, slots and, you know, during the baking time, I guess a couple of them, you know, opened up, got so hot they burst and the cheese fell down. Some of the cheese went on the, the uh, uh, I don't know what, what it was called, the heating rods, heating elements, and, and the cheese started smoking. Yeah, and, yeah, and smoke was leaking out of the whole oven, and it actually kind of filled up my apartment, <laughs> so. Yeah, so I uh, wipe off the, the rods after that, uh, and but then I tried cooking the rest of the box in there, and <laughs> and then during that uh, I actually got a fire going on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess like more cheese uh, melted down landed on the bottom of the oven and caught fire and I, yeah I just had a little bit of a, like a campfire uh, burning at, at the bottom uh, but fortunately it didn't spread and it went out on its own but yeah but I haven't used the oven since then so so yeah now I've got to clean it I'm using this, which I have used this before uh, on this oven. It, it, the oven was actually a lot worse than it is now, and I used this, and it, it worked so good. It was amazing how well it worked, but the only problem is that if you read the directions on the back, it says, like, you need to wear gloves uh, when spraying this. So, yeah, that doesn't <laughs> uh, seem like it's very safe on, you know, your skin. So, yeah, I got rubber gloves to use when I'm spraying it. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now. So, okay, got my gloves on. And then... Said on the can to take the racks out and then just clean up my hand. So, yeah, I'll do that. If they can come out. Yeah, that actually didn't work as well as I thought it would. The fumes from the spray just got so overwhelming for me. I actually had to go outside for a few minutes to get some fresh air. Oh look, I think I'm getting a bald spot on the top of my head. I must be getting old. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, anyway, if I had the audio on, uh, you would hear me coughing and gagging and making all sorts of uh, gross n noises, so you, you don't want to hear any of that. But I had to turn the fan up above my stove on high for like an hour and open up both my windows all the way just to 
try and air out the place because uh, it was just toxic and really overwhelming for me. Okay, so it's the next day. And I left the oven door closed with all the clearing it overnight. And yeah, it doesn't really look like I did anything, didn't spray anything. Wow, I can still smell the uh, spray. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can <laughs> still smell it right now. Now I'm going to take a uh, old sponge and wet it in and wipe it, wipe the oven down, see how it turns out. And now the actual cleaning begins and just look at that. Look how it gets all the grime, I guess it's called. Yeah, it, it just wipes it all off. And yeah, it's really amazing how well it actually does work. But there's so much grime on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for showing that. But yeah, there's just so much of it that I kept having to go to the, uh, my bathroom and wrench out the sponge uh, and get it clean. And now I, I got a little trash can that I'm just shaking the sponge over and getting off any loose grime off. And if you notice, I put rubber gloves back on, although during the cleaning, one of them did rip and I got a big hole in it that I had to take off. Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, great, now I just got the outside dirty again. <laughs> uh, now I gotta clean the outside again. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, see, now I'm only wearing one glove because I had to throw the other one out because it had a hole in it. Yeah, uh, but, and by the way, my name is Dylan, and if you're new to this channel, I have been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, and I make videos about my life and how autism impacts my life, although uh, this video isn't a good example. Uh, I, I was planning on talking during this part about my autism but things didn't go according to plan and I actually ended up making like a part two to this video where I cleaned my bass tub and so that's gonna be another video so make sure you're subscribed and just look at that it's like night and day this stuff really does work but not easy to use there is another way to use it you can warm up the oven first and then turn it off and then spray it and wipe it down. Maybe that would have been easier. Who knows? But I'm just glad it's over now. So until next video, goodbye. Mm -hmm.